All right, so welcome back. So for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to play topiary. Now, what is topiary? Well, it's basically the practice of cutting and trimming various ornamental shrubs and trees into all sorts of various works of art. That's basically what topiary is. And in this game, we are visitors, okay? And we've come to this beautiful garden to look at all the various uh, forms of artwork in these shrubs and trees, okay? So um, the setup is going to be a grid of these tiles face down, five by five. And uh, it obviously will vary in uh, two to three player game. It'll be a little bit different from a four player game. You'll have... Um, in a sense that uh, there will be an extra shrub of artwork that won't be in the game if you're playing a two or three player game. If you're playing a four player game, there will be an, an additional, uh, you know, various form of artwork. So basically, I've got it set up for a two player game, so that there is one particular form of artwork that isn't in this game. And it's uh, basically this one right here. This one won't be in the game. And there's five of these altogether, so this one will not be in the game at all. But, it, but that's the case. Then you're going to each... After you've got this grid of five by five tiles, each player is going to get three of these tiles. Um, what's left of the rest of the tiles, that is, which were, which were originally in a stack. You're going to get three of these. Obviously, you're not going to know what they are until you get them, but you're basically going to have a hand of three tiles. So we each have a hand of three tiles, and there will be a few tiles left over in a two- or three-player game. There will at least be one tile left over that you won't utilize, and that will just get put back into the box and won't be used for this game. Now, in this game, we're going to be basically setting up our visitors and in a line of sight. They want to see all the various forms of artwork, okay? And so there are three different, uh, basically, ways of what the line of sight could be. For instance, let's do a for instance. So if I put the, for instance, put this a visitor right here, his line of sight will go all the way down diagonally in this direction, starting from here all the way down. So that's one, obviously, line of sight. The other type is obviously going down this way and going down a column. That's a line of sight. Or putting it here would be, for instance, putting it into a row. Uh, that will be his line of sight. That row will be his line of sight. And if there is already a meeple in a particular row, column, or diagonal, you won't be able to put another one. So Manta, for instance, he won't be able to put his visitor in the same one as mine, in the same row, column, or diagonal as mine, and I won't be able to obviously put another one as well. Now, on your turn, you have two types of things you can do on your turn. The first one you must do. The first one will be placing one of these visitors into this topiary here in a particular row, column, or diagonal, for instance. That's what you're going to do, and that's not optional. You must do that. So obviously, there's not you don't know what there is to see right now, because this is the only thing you can see right now at the moment. So right now, it's hard to say where to put these meeples for sure, but that's how it is. But maybe as, as, as the game goes on, you'll have more of an idea of want to, where you want to place the rest of your meeples, because you'll be placing them once per turn, and the game will be over after everyone has placed their last one. So since there's eight of them here, that means there's basically eight rounds in the game. Now, if you're playing with three players or four players, there'll be less rounds, because you're not going to be playing with every single one of your visitors, if that's the case. So, that's what you're going to do first. Then you have, you'll notice you have this nice little hand of tiles here. After you place your visitor, you may pick up a tile of your choice, pick one up, put it into your hand, look at it, and then decide from your hand, including the one you just took and picked up, in to put into your hand which one will you'll you'll basically will place back and place basically face up in the same spot you took it from obviously okay now this is something that's optional you do not have to do this you do not have to take one up and flip one over you don't have to do that you don't have to flip one over period so that's nice right that's kind of interesting 
And so, there could be some st strategies involved not doing that. Well, how so? Well, at the end of the game, that's when the scoring will begin, at the end of the game. And you're going to, your visitor is going, it makes sense that your visitor is going to be able to see smaller sculptures to higher sculptures. So this is a, this is the highest a sculpture can be, which is a five, right? That means if there was a visitor diagonal from here, he would not be able to see anything equal or less than this. So if there was a sculpture that was a four or lower, or a five or lower, here or here, he would not see it. That means he would not get any points for the tiles over here, because this one is blocking the view of those. So that's the case, okay? But, for instance, let's say there was a two here. This one was basically still face down. No one messed with this tile. This was a five, and these were blank anyway. He would get two points for this one if it was a two. This one still would be count considered zero, but it would not block the view of anything because technically this would just be an empty spot anyway, a, a vacant location, if you will. And so he would still score the five points here, for instance, because he can still see this one if that was the case. So that's basically what's going to happen. That's how it will work. Now we're going to do some gameplay, and I don't know if we'll play the full game or not, but we'll do some gameplay and see how this goes. So Matt is going to be my opponent here, and I think what I'll do is um, I think I'll place my meeple over here, and this will be his line of sight. And then, hmm... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and lift this one up and look at it and decide how I want to do this. Ooh. Hmm. Well, we're going to take the risk and we're going to place this one face up here, which is the whale. Uh, whale work, work of art, basically. L that looks like a whale. All right. And that would be the, basically my turn is now done. And so now it would be Manta's turn. So Manta, he is going to place his... Um, actually, he's going to place it right here. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to do. And then he's going to um, lift up this one here. Okay, well, he's got a two there. He's got a five. He's got a one. He's got a four. So he's going to place this five right there like that. So now, assuming there isn't any fives in this spot here, he'll be able to see that one in his line of sight at the end of the game. Okay, so now his turn is done, so now it would be my turn. So let's see here. Where do I want to go this time? Well, I definitely would like to see that as my last line of sight, possibly. So I'm going to put my meeple over there, and you know what? I'm going to take this one here, and let's see what we got. Okay, well, they're all really <laughs> low numbers. We're going to take the, We're going to go ahead and put this three here and hope for the best, right? Okay. Uh, so that's my turn. My turn is done. So now it's Manta's turn. Manta's got to place his visitor now. Hmm. Well, let's see here. He definitely doesn't want to go diagonal this direction now because um, of all that mess. So no one has taken the middle column. So he's going to place that there. And he is going to take this one. And, and then let's see what we can do with that. Okay, well, he won't be able to see any of these because they're twos, ones. So he's going to have to place the two down here. And he won't see this one, unfortunately. Okay, so his turn is now done. Um, ooh, and I took the wrong ones. Sorry. Um, let's see. I don't know which one it was that I took. But it was definitely a two, I think. So we'll go ahead and grab his. I grabbed mine by mistake. So let's see here. Does he have any higher numbers? He does. So he's got the four. He's going to place it there. That makes more sense. Okay. All right. So that hopefully will help his strategy out a little bit better for sure. I don't mind if he beats me anyways. Ridley beat me not too long ago. Okay. So it's only fair that Manta beats me. Okay. So now it's my turn. I think I want to play some Meeple. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll place one right over, um, let's place one here, actually. 
I think I'd like that. Let's go with that. We'll place that there. And then we'll take this one and see what happens. Okay, well, they're all low numbers, unfortunately, for me. So we'll just do with the two there like that. Okay, so that's that. Now it's Mantis' turn. Mantis is going to place his down somewhere. Um, well, he's going to actually go from this end with the two there, since it's right there. He's going to go there, and he's going to have this line of sight. He's going to take this one here. And let's see here. Now they're all really not the same, actually. So, well... I guess we'll go with uh, this one and put that there, like that. Okay, so now it's my turn. I think I'm going to place one right here. Yes, I'm going to take this one here. Okay, here we got a five now. Yes, I was hoping for that. Okay, um, I definitely want to place a one. So, I think I'll go with this one here. Now, there are some strategies in placing certain sculptures of the same type in the same row or column as well. So, uh, but we'll talk about that later. But that's basically that for me. Okay, so now it's Mantis' turn. Manta is going to place one, uh, let's see, I guess, well, there's not many choices, so he'll go here, he'll take this one, and place a low number, obviously, makes more sense, right? Um, I guess he'll do this one here, like so, okay, alright, now it's my turn. I am going to place one, um, hmm, well, I'll place one here, but I'm going to take, actually, this one over here, okay, oh, wait, yeah, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, but yes, I'll take that one anyways, I'm going to place the five right there, like that, okay, now it's Manta's turn, so Manta is going to go, hmm, he's going to go here, and he's going to take, um, he's going to take this one here, and let's see here, he's got, he's going to go with the one, he's going to go with that one there, like that, okay. Now it's my turn. Hmm. Let's see here. What do I have? I have a four, I have a one, and I have a one. Okay, well, I think what I'll do is I'll place my meeple. I guess I'll place it over here. And I'll lift this one up here. And it's another five. I'm definitely going to place the four down, though, for that location. Okay, so now it's Manta's turn. Manta, where are you going to go, Manta? Let's see here. Um, Well, there's not very many places left, unfortunately. But no one has really gone in this row at all. So, he's going to go there. And he's going to take this one here and he's going to place his five down at the end over there like so all right now it's my turn i still have that five i would love to utilize if possible um let's see here well I guess I'll place my meeple. I have to place it regardless of the case. Uh, so 
I'll go, um, well, I guess I'll go here, and, um, let's see, uh, let's see, I'll take this one. It's a four, huh? Okay, yeah, I'll put that four back. Perfect. Okay. Now it's Mantis' turn. He needs to place his meeple down. He'll go here, and he'll take this one. And he'll place the two down right there. And now I'll place my last meeple, by the way. Um, let's see here. Where do I want to place my last meeple? I'll get to move one more, regardless of the case. Um, let's see here. Uh, well, I guess I could go... I guess I'll go right here. And I'll take um, this one here. That might be beneficial, actually. And I think I will actually do this one here, like that. Okay, that might work. Okay, now, Manta here. He is going to go. Uh, where is he going to place his last one, though? Um, well, there's not many choices. I guess there's still some diagonal spots he could try. He'll go right here. Yeah, he'll do that diagonal spot. Kind of forgot about the diagonal spots, but he'll do that one. And let's see, what would be beneficial for him? Oh, probably this one right here might be beneficial. And he can place something that's between a 2 and a 5. So he'll do the 3, which now he's got 3 dinosaurs there, so that's cool. Okay, so that's the end of the game. So now we would do scoring... We have a nice little score pad here to help out with this. Um, you won't be able to see it on the screen, unfortunately. <sighs> Not really, anyways. Okay, so now how does the scoring work? Well, each of these meeples are going to get points based on their line of sight. Obviously, it would be easiest to do this one at a time. But that's not the only thing that will allow them to score points, either. What else could allow them to score points? Well, for instance, Matt here has three dinosaurs. Since he has three dinosaurs that he can see, it doesn't matter on the sculpture really, but since he has three dinosaurs here that he can fully see here, that means he's going to get one bonus point for each one because he's got more than one. He's got at least two. So he's going to get three extra points because... They're the same exact sculpture, and he can see all three of them in that particular line of sight. So that's and that's one of the ways, additional ways you can score. Now there is another way you can score besides simply the numbers that you can see, how many points you're going to get. You also have a tiles in hand thing as well, and you can get points for that. You will reveal all three tiles in your hand, and then for each tile, you can score points equal to the face value as long as a larger sculpture of that type is visible, visible to at least one of your visitors somewhere in the garden. Okay, so these are mine. So I have a dinosaur, I have an elephant, and I have this thing. And I'm obviously the yellow color. Now, do I have any of these here? In my line of sight. I just need one. Let's do the dinosaur first. Do I have a dinosaur that's within my line of sight for any of my yellow meeples? Well, let's see. Not this direction. This direction. Right there. That one he can see. He can see the... No, that's the... that's the Yeah, so he can see the dinosaur. So I'm going to get one point for that from my hand. Okay. Now, the elephant. Can I see an elephant in my line of sight? Is there an elephant in my line of sight? No, because this one is equal to this one, so that does not count. But however, this one here can see that elephant, and so I'm going to score an additional point for this one that's in my hand. Now, is there a, is there a visitor who can see this one here? That's one of mine, that is. 
Let's see here. Um, are there even any of these in this game that are face up? There's one here, but obviously this meeple can't see it. The red one can, but not the yellow one. So that doesn't do me any good. Is there any others here that showed up? Nope, doesn't look like it. So I won't get any points for this, even though it would have given me five points. Oh well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the two points for that now before I forget. So those are the points I got from my hand. Just these two here. Now let's do Manta's real quick. What about Manta? Can he see any of these? Well, he can see that one there. So he gets three points for that. Can he see this one? Yes, he can. Right there. So he's going to get three points for that. And obviously this one is the same one as this one. So he gets points for all of these right here. So he's going to get six. He's going to get eight points. Wow. That's a lot of points for just the tiles in the hand. So that takes care of the tiles in hand, at least. Now we can start taking these out, off one by one, line of sight-wise. Let's do mine first, even though I think Manta is probably going to win. So let's start with this one here. He can see this one. He can't see this one. So he's going to get five points. So I get five points. Okay, so that's five, and I'll take this one away just to make it easier on myself so I don't count a second time in a couple of spots. All right, let's do this one real quick. I can see this one, and I can see this one. So that's nine points. So I'll take that one away. This one here can see this one and this one, right? Oh, wait. I had my maple here. I get two extra bonus points because both of these were the swan. So let me get my two bonus points. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, so this one here. He can see this one and he can see this one. So that's nine points. So now I've got 27. So I'll take that one away. Okay, this one here. He can see this one, this one, and this one. And they're not the same. So that's... Let's see, that's 9, 10, 11, 12 points for that. Okay, so I'll take that one away. Okay, over here, I've, been, I've got all of these in my line of sight in this direction. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points. Okay, so that's, let's see here, that's 52 points. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it only seems to go up to 49, but oh well. Um, so I've got 52. The score pad should go all the way up to 100, if you ask me, but oh well. I don't know how many more points I'm going to be able to get at this point. Okay, let's see. I can see this one. I can't see this one. I can see this one, and I can see this one. So since I can see this one and this one, it's going to give me two extra bonus points. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we'll take that one away. Okay, this one can only see this one here, so that's two points only. Okay, we'll take that one away. And then here, this meeple can only see the first one, which is going to be five points. So, let's see here. My final score is 50 plus 20, so that's 70 points. So that's my final score. I got 70 points. Okay, now Manta here. Let's do Manta real quick. Let's see here. He's, he can see this one. And he can see this one only with this maple here, with this visitor. So that's six points. Okay, let's do this one here. He can see this one, he can see this one, and he can see this one. And these are the same one. So he's going to get two bonus points for these two. So two, and then seven, eight, nine, 
and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So he gets 14 points for this visitor. Okay, we'll take that one away. Now let's do the diagonal one. He's got, he can see this one, he can see this one, and that's it. So that's a total of eight points. Okay, so now he's at 35. And which one was it? Oh yeah, diagonal. Okay, so let's do this one. He can see only this one, so he's going to get two points for just that one. Okay, he's got one over here. He can see both of these, so that's going to give him six points. Now he's got 43 points. Over here, with this maple, he can see both of these, so that's seven points. So now he's at 50 points. Okay, here he can see all these dinosaurs, and so that's going to give him three extra bonus points. So that's 8, 10, 13 points. So now he's at ooh, 63. He's catching up. I'm at 70 points. He's at 63 thus far. He can see these two, so that's nine points. All right, he beat me by two points. He has 72 points, and I have 70 points. So Manta, he is the winner. Manta, you won at Topiary. You beat me by two points. Good job, Manta. I knew you had it in you. So that's basically how you play Topiary. Very simple and easy game. Obviously, there is some, there's obviously some strategy involved in, in which tiles to put back, which ones to pick up and put back, and which ones to possibly keep in your hand, too. So obviously, a little bit more to tra keep track of. I wasn't able to keep track of really what I had in my hand because I'm playing two players at the same time. But you can see how, um, obviously, that this is still a fairly strategic game for sure. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked this how to play slash gameplay video, don't hesitate to leave a like. And I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you guys for watching. Topiary.